Players of Ooze on Usain. Right. Tell me what you know, old woman. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? No, only the night terrors. Have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around the coast? Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. I was being... Ugh, fucking blind woman. Because she's blind, which you seem to have forgotten. I didn't forget. I... I look, I mean... <sighs> I've got a lot on my mind, all right? It's because you're blind, isn't it? This is a sharp one. And runs her hand across the washboard. She's being evasive. She knows something. Oh, really? Well, thank you, Rhetoric, for once. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. You might be a suspect. Would you now? I know how this world works, and it doesn't work when people tell on each other. Works for me. You know something, we're here to help. This is like when that man that locked, like that, what? This is like when that man locked himself in the woodshed. We just need to help her come out. This isn't about the union, you know. You don't have to worry about retaliation. Which is something a union person would say. Just, yeah, don't whatever that was, don't let whatever that was happen again, whatever that was. No, it's not like that man. With him we call you. Right now, you just arrive by yourself, like a raven plucking at the window glass. Uh, no, someone still called us this time. Um, I see you know something, but you've decided not to tell us. Okay, but we'll be back later if we find anything suspicious. What are you hiding? There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I thought we were cool. I thought we were tight. You gave me a house and everything. I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. You should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others too. Good point, Logic. She may, in fact, have done that. Oh God, I'm falling to bits. Physically. Uh, emotionally as well, but physically is all that matters for you know, this current stream. Ugh, might have to resort to tissues again. For my nose, I mean. Oh, I thought Kim was going to come in for once. As you look Aha. at the floorboards in this corner of the shack, it's Finally. clear one of them isn't quite level with the others. Our mind kept shouting this at us, but we didn't have the prompt to find it out. The edge of a floorboard next to it looks scratched. Move the board aside. Hollow space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. Aha! A secret stash of sand and sawdust. What's in here? Search through the sand and sawdust. I don't, I don't want to stick my hand in there. Oh, have a look. You stick your hand in and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then, something hard wrapped in paper. <gasps> a small cylindrical object. You pull it out. A bullet. A bullet? Ooh. A nine millimeter bullet, to be exact. Fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. Like your own Villiers pistol, for example. This bullet isn't for a breech holder like the murder weapon. The floorboard isn't interested. Maybe the washerwoman is. You have enough to confront her with. No, if this bullet is for a pistol, then it can't be for the rifle, which was the murder weapon. It's extra ammunition. She's locked and loaded, ready to fight some cops. Or at least, not that we have the murder weapon. It was one like that. A rifle like the antique we have, I think. Yeah, the one we have is broken. So, um, Cool. We have a bullet. We officially have one bullet. Arguably all you need. 
Oh, I've got two bullets, apparently. I don't know. When I picked the other one up, maybe I just always had it. Always keep one in the chamber. Never know when you need to shoot yourself in the mouth. Speaking of good times, um, I'm falling apart and, yeah, sniffy death disgustingness is a step too far for this stream, so I will sort that out and be back momentarily. And by sort that out, I mean stuff tissue up my nose. Right, sorry about that. We are back now. Oh, what a good test this is for a new microphone. Anyway, fucking hay fever. Oh, I feel like I'm. I feel more like I'm gonna sneeze now. Old woman, tell me what I want to know, or I'll sneeze on you. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't. You said that already. Ow. What can I help you with? Ow. Yeah. Why? What? Fuck. This is terrible. <coughs> ah. <coughs> Fucking. How do I sneeze with shit up my nose? Ah. Well, this is entirely professional and not at all embarrassing. Yeah. I brought back up, it's fine. <sighs> right, it's gonna, no, it's okay. I, you know, I'll do a double header. You don't know what that means, so I didn't know what it meant until I said it, it's fine. Uh, I just had it. Too much of length, you know. It's tickling my brain. Why was there a bullet under the floorboards of your shack? Damn that girl. A bullet? The lieutenant turns to you and gives you a little nod, then turns to the washerwoman. Yeah, you wouldn't have known, Kim, if you'd ever stepped foot inside my house. Why are you so ashamed to be seen with me? You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Yeah. Gone and hid things in there? She's usually a good tenant. 
and not a stupid one either. You, you can be good and stupid. You rented the room to her. Yes, I let my room to that ruby girl. She speaks slowly, wringing out a rag. After a long silence, her hands move into the water buckets and water sloshes over the edge. As I've done before, when she's been in trouble or just looking for solitude. I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into, that girl? She's gotten herself into a murder. That's for the police to find out. Oh, I mean, that's right for then. the police to find Please out. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. We have six, apparently. Uh, you said she left on Monday. Yes, early with the dogs. Around eight o'clock, I think. She's got dogs. Okay. She probably heard the Lieutenant's Kanema drive by, and it woke her up, just like it did you. Kim, she must have heard of your Kanema. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. His voice is tinged with pride. Is the room exactly as she left it? I cleaned it, like I always do. So, yes. Was there anything else there? No. Wait, I mean, so no, because if it was like she left it, then cleaning it is, is not as... as I'm trying, all right. What is she like, Ruby? What's, what's, what's her favorite color? What does she do in the afternoons? She's good company. Knows how to talk to an old woman. Oh, we all know how to talk At to old women. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation. So I really appreciate that about her. Cool. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually she likes to cross a few lines, but this time she mostly stayed in her room. Why do you think she does? How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. She looks back toward her shack, thinking. Did she have any technical equipment with her, like radio stuff? by which she might contact drug dealers. Not that I knew of, though she was into nice music. She once showed me a few mixtape millions she'd made. Water drips to the ground, she brushes her forehead, it's all just, yeah, flavour. Although I Tips. guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Oh yeah? Even fix the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. I should be thankful for that. But I'm not, because I'm a cop, and sh she's a suspect. She may simply have kept the equipment elsewhere. Where did she come from? Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. Got an she tried to leave quietly, but the hinges on that door screech like a cat in heat. Lovely. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast at the back of her head. You only just arrived. Yeah, well, I've been scouring this coast for about the past three streams on and off because I was fucking lost. So I know it better than the back of my hand. I wouldn't worry about that, man. We are persistent. Yeah, that too. But that place is huge. She's a needle in a haystack further up the coast then. Wipe your brow. Man, I was really hoping she'd be hiding in this village. You sure she didn't go somewhere more pleasant and less wet? Yes, it's going to be too much work for you to find her. Better for you to stay here. Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater. I'm not falling for this honey trap washer woman. I see what you're doing. The fell electric neuron. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this time. Motherfucker. One thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. The air is getting colder. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. If you say so. 
Great, so that thing we checked about six dozen million times. Now we can check it properly. Ugh. Irritating. You see, a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out Feld Electrical R&D. Step closer. Above the mural, a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Uh, I mean, metaphorically, yeah, but I can't go. It's a brick wall. Like, you're telling me to literally bang my head against a brick wall. What, what's going on here? Why do I feel like I know this place? I know why I know this place. I've been here like 16 times. Indeed. Somehow you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before when it rained in Martinez and you felt the cold. Oh, hello rain. again, Mira Limbaugh. Uh, day five, yeah. It has been in it's been day five for a bit too long at this point. <laughs> Could Ruby be in there? I fucking hope so. In there? She could, or she could be in the identical room over there, or in that boat shack, in that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Because my shiverness tells me to. Or it might tell me to, depending on if I fail this. Uh, tell you what, let's leave, have a drink, and then we'll have a better chance of that. Also, I just remembered something. This prick is still here. Why are you still here? I told you to fuck off. Hello, hello. What can I do for you, officer? Uh, did Oh, yeah, Gary in the armour. Did you know he was hiding that? And that he's a massive fascist? Hell no. I had no idea. And I'm still cross with him, to be honest. It's not like him. He's got his quirks. But dishonesty. Disloyalty. Are not one of them. Or, or even two of them. Thanks. Okay, I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen a woman with... Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a woman with red hair who seemed to be on the run? I'm afraid not, officer. I've been busy digging around in the reeds for days. Looking for signs of insect activity. I'm less interested in mammalian concerns. To be perfectly honest. The lieutenant takes a short note in his notebook, then gestures for you to proceed. I wonder if that note said useless. Go home. What? The only way I can tell him to go home is through fascism, it seems, because it's got the umlaut thing and it. <sighs> my woman. You mean my wife, I assume. I will return to her. I can't leave before we finish with these traps. My wife understands that just as well as anyone. He looks south where Lena would be if she hadn't died. Come on, Morel. We've been soaking out uh, here for fine, days. Probably. It's time to go back. For once, he is right. And leave the traps? Absolutely not. I won't let Lena down. Oh, just fucking buy her a cake. Come on. She wants us back. I'm soaked up to my nuts over here. We'll both catch reed crabs if we don't dry out soon. Uh, uh, reed crabs? That doesn't sound good. Um, you're doing this for yourself, not her. I'm doing this for science, and so is she. Neither of you are science. I didn't know the phasma was so the poor Lena. Of course it's important to her. She's seen it. 
A verified sighting, on record. One of only 40 century, and it's hers. She's seen it. She sighted the phasmid, she didn't tell me that. Yes, that's how we first came to know one another, in fact. But that's her story to tell, not mine. <laughs> he coughs and continues. Needless to say, you must ask her about the mysterious phasmid. Do I got her? Suffice to say, it's long been our dream to find proof of the Insulindian phasmid together. I can't abandon course now. Is our Harry not into cryptozoology? Uh, he might be. I mean, he's got, it's Inland Empire certainly wants us to go through it. I've just, <laughs> I've done that quest so many times and oh, it's a bit of a hassle on your sixth playthrough. Also, I'm deathly afraid of faffing any more than I have, but I don't know. I might go through with it again. Maybe you could go back to the whirling, warm up, come back, check the traps later. You should just give up on this bug hunt. Okay, I understand. I don't give up on things either. And I wonder if I can just make him give up. Give up? Do we've come so far? Not a chance. Yeah, I didn't think so. He's dead set on this. Hmm. I could go for some trap setting. <sighs> what if we check the traps for you? I didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. Neither did I. Cryptozoology and detective work are very similar. Chaos is my method. I am its skit sk Skion? Skion? Shion? We're looking for someone hiding on this very coast. Looking for another thing may lead us to her. I'm all in with this cryptid shit. I'm hooked. Sure, that thing I can't pronounce. Well, be that as it may, I'd really appreciate the help. Where are the traps? There are four in total. One is to the south, on this little peninsula. By the boathouses there. It's very near. Another we set in Land's End. To the northeast. It's behind a small sand dune there. On your way to the old radio tower. After the church. The third is set near the canal. Where you crossed. By a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope. And among them... You should check at least one of those before returning to this one. Since I just said it. This one's more of a technicality. But still. Better safe and stupid. Then sorry. That is the saying. That seems like a lot. Do we really have time for this extracurricular venture? Not really, Kim. No, we were about to uh, chase the prime suspect. But, um... Fuck it. Maybe our suspect is hiding out in the reeds along with the traps. The pursuit of knowledge is its own reward. That's not what it said. I'm God, I'm doing what the game is doing now. The pursuit of knowledge is its own justification. What, aren't you having fun? Even relative to examining a weak old corpse, I'm not sure mucking about in the reeds qualifies as fun. But have it your way, detective. I will, because I am the Burger King. What do I do if I, there's a faz made in one of the traps? Bring it to me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. You close your trap tight. What if I encounter the phasmid in the wild? That's highly unlikely, officer. But in the event you do, I'll spray you with a pheromone mixture I developed. Oh, good. Is it Lynx Africa? It's made of musk and research chemicals. Yep. The pheromone Sounds should like attract it. the insect to you. Or at least prevent it from bolting at the side of you. It's quite potent. Will last you about a week. Oh, good. I don't want this, thank you very much. Lay it on me. Lay it on me thick. Yeah, let's stink to high heaven. He douses you with the odd smelling spray, a double helping as you present your other armpit and then gives you a satisfied nod. This is the smell of dying reeds, of longing crumbling into the water. Yep, well, you know, that's the kind of thing the perfume ads are all about these days, isn't it? I hope you're not buying this. It dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. Mm. 
my mind uh, it just totally broke on that. I can't... Lieutenant Reed, I hope you're not buying this. He dispenses it with that... Is... Are the speech marks not meant to be there? Like at the end... That, oh, fuck it, it doesn't matter. It is precious. A single dose cost me Maybe it smells real better than all the booze. Develop. That's a good point. Not yeah. that I expect you to understand self-financing one's own research. And the speed? Does speed smell of anything? I don't know. But yeah, maybe it covers that up, I guess. All right, right let's do this. Which means you two can go back to the boiling. Finally, someone's talking sense. Ish. Thank you for your help. Gary and I will start breaking down camp. If you have any more questions, now's the time to ask. No. If it's more cryptid related business you want to discuss, you'll have time for that later too. I don't but want to. But what if the information is vital on the hunt? I'm sure it's not. All right. Cue the Benny Hill music. Do I even remember where he said all these are? Land's End. We know where that is. Is that another fucking gig poster? There's a slit in the concrete here, a sewer. What? What's... Okay, there's nothing else I can do with that. Interesting. reeds at your feet. Looks like the same one you saw Morel set before. Same mesh, same wiring. Look around with my eyeballs. The reeds shake sadly in the coastal breeze. Snow specks the stalks. Most of it melts quickly. The reeds seem to be waiting for something. The wind picks up here, near the cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Reach for the trap. Locusts are crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. Big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. Damn, I was hoping it would be in the first one. No need to grin, I'm not expecting to find anything. I'm helping some citizens and getting some fresh air. It'll be in the next one, surely. Say nothing, just put the trap down. Definitely the next one. Surely. Anyway, the air is nice and fresh here. If you say so, I can't smell anything. I've got tissue up my nose. Ah, damn it, now I'm stuck on rocks. Yes, I'm sure the Phasmid won't be scared off by my constantly playing beat, uh, boombox. I really enjoyed trolling Kim on this quest. Yeah, it. if you pick all the right options, I imagine you can just be a living nightmare for Kim. Just <laughs> every single thing that he doesn't want to do. Uh, shit, where did they say the other ones? One at the start and then one somewhere else. We can probably check, actually. Near the boathouses. Uh, okay. That's back where we came from. Okay, we're sort of doing a loop then. Is that another one? A familiar apparatus. Gotcha. The reeds bend forlornly toward the sand. Some tufts have been crushed, 
Snow covers the broken stalks like a shroud. In the east, the city center hums to you. Stop hovering at me. The constant, distant song. Louder on this part of the coast. Nearer somehow. And there's that cold again. Always the cold. This trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. I want to make it clear that I don't actually believe the phasmid exists, okay? How are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Let's keep going. The next one is the lucky one. Yep. The next one has a crab trapped in it. These are just crab traps, you do realize? You're a crab trap, Kim. Sorry, that was that was a bit much. I don't mean it. I'm sure crabs scuttle freely away from you. Okay, boathouses. Why am I blanking on boathouses? Why am I blanking on the direction that is west? Oh god. Well, that's failed. So, west is... Here? Yeah, thank fuck for that. I knew it was there, but, I mean, thank fuck for that also. This traps behind you. The ruins of a residential building loom over the reeds. They whisper amongst themselves, confidently. Snowflakes cling to their shivering stems. When this district was booming, the reeds were kept at bay. Nothing obscured the freshly painted facades. Nowhere for drunks and adventurous teenagers to hide. Now only the wind blows. Well, thanks for that, Shivers. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. His face is red from the cold sea air. He crouches to catch his breath. I must stress that I did not expect a cryptozoological monstrosity to be in this trap. Bummer it wasn't in here. You getting tired? No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just... He's short-winded. The sentence ends there. Ha 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 ha, someone more unfit than me for once. This really is a role-playing game. Right, and this one. It's going to be in this one, definitely. This is the last of the traps. The one mora the reeds by the abandoned campsite sway and tremble while the snow falls all around. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. Unlike my shack. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. Oh, I always feel strange. I've stopped trying to pinpoint why. Reach for the trap. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Aha, uh -huh. look closer. No locusts. Aha. Uh -huh. No phasmid either. Oh. But still. Immediately yell. It's empty. Morel didn't leave it empty. Look closer still. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. But what if it was the phasmid? What if it ate them and got out? Yeah, it probably wasn't the phasmid, but still, Morel needs to know. You're right, but they still need to know. You're right, this crypto research has been stupid. Good, good. We should be courteous and tell the cryptozoologists that one of the traps was empty. But then we can get back to our assignment here. A cold gust of air dries your sweaty face. And you look to the dark shadow, the felled building in the distance, drawing you to it. What a strange sensation. Once this is done, should you try to ask again? Yeah, I guess so. So, does it want me to talk to them before going after Ruby? Uh, I'm going to go after Ruby first. I'm sure there's time to talk to Morel still, and if there isn't, then fuck it. Also, we might fail this, so, you know. Right. Uh, 
Glug a chug. Again, I need two hands to do anything, apparently. Don't mind me, guys. Just a police officer with no trousers getting drunk in front of a small child. Nothing to see here. Okay. This is definitely going to work. The once bright mural towers seven. Even though you're wow. sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. Did that go no from like 47% to 97%? The wind has died down. The That's ruin insane. in front of you is silent as a tomb. What was I even attempting to do here? Oh good, I'm glad the game is also unclear on that. She could be anywhere, how do we find her? What was I attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind, the city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Well, now I've got one hand on the boombox. If it falls to my side, I'll drop it. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Yes. Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? You saw me do it in the last stream. I tuned into the city and it helped me do a disco dance. Or some kind of dance. A prayer of sorts. To Rivershaw. Eh, I wouldn't go that far. Kim, what do we do? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography, at least. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. And if that fails, if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, Tom Drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. He looks behind him at the dark red box crumbling across the chasm. We found a slit that said it was a sewer. Can, can we do that? I was just checking that I did actually succeed that. I did, but it was a, a kind of failure. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Yeah. An adventure awaits. An adventure on the windswept urban coast. Well, I'm glad someone's got enthusiasm, savoir faire. Buckle up and raise your collar. This search is going to be wet and cold. Or we could just try again. I mean, we got a perfect chance of, or near perfect chance of succeeding. Suddenly, there's a sigh, carried on the molecules around you, moving, flowing from high pressure to low pressure, like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. Where does it go, Cotton Eye Joe? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk, its winding tunnels, a whisper away. What is happening? She's down there. Oh, it's you again. Uh, I think she's down there below this building. Okay. Why? The... Uh, ever since I woke up maybe even before I've been getting these strange cold spells uh, we've looked everywhere else the wind told me so how do we get in there the doors were on the collapsed side of this building they're gone basically he's not even phased anymore after all the apocalyptic preacher shit I've been saying for this entire game the idea that the wind speaks to me is uh, tame Finally, my time to shine. Is it? Oh, good. There's a ladder next to the sign. Perhaps we can climb it, enter through the roof. That seems to be the only way. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan to live to see 70. Oh, well, that's optimistic of you. 
There has to be a way to use brute force. Climbing sounds unsafe. Brute force is safe. Look around and find something to break if the ladder fails. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that's safe somehow. Um, the thing that will break if the ladder fails is me, physical instrument. So, you know, talk to pain threshold and uh, endurance and just brace yourselves. <sighs> All right, here we go. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Some of the rungs are missing. All right, well, that's fine. We just won't step on those rungs. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Assess the situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You'd have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded and the peeling rust is razor sharp. I'm wearing gloves, though. Armor gloves, in fact. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what, three meters above the ground? And you're 180? 190? I'm a giant. Okay, but still, the roof is collapsing and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting from the ladder is going to be hard. Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder. Instead, what if you were to do something more subtle? Subtle? That doesn't seem like the kind of character we've been playing as. Astral projection. Be open-minded about this. Uh... Yeah, because falling from that height seems, well, splat. So don't do that. Just, you know. Okay, what if I don't climb? What if I just teleport? Ah, oh, clearly, that's the answer. Right. Teleportation is not a thing. Come on, Kim, where's your adventurous spirit? Teleportation is a thing, just needs a bit of concentration. Uh, it won't hurt to try. Oh, yes, it could hurt a lot. No? He is restraining himself from using a parental tone with you right now. See? <laughs> we saw the crab man climbing and... Also, all those points put into Savoir Faire where we listen to all his ultra-liberal bullshit has finally paid off. We can now teleport to the roof. All you need to do is close your eyes and concentrate. Darkness enfolds you. You can feel the distance between the bench and the first rung of the ladder. All you need to is... Do it. Zoot, zap, ow, crinkle. It's like magic. You feel yourself disappear. Your atoms fading out of existence. There's some very strange onomatopoeic words used in comics. Crinkle. I can't say I've ever seen. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, believe it, man, who I've totally forgot about. Bam! You find yourself on the roof having mastered the art of physical displacement. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it, Kim, I teleported. Don't gloat, just stand there like a Samaran master. No, I teleported. That is now a skill I have. Get fucked, everyone else. I just saw you climb the ladder. You just climbed it, like a regular person. Shut up, Kim, I teleported. No, not like a regular person. Like a phase spider. Exactly, I, I phased up the ladder. It's still teleportation. Closer to teleportation than whatever you said, which is not what happened, so. The wind at the top of the building starts howling loudly, blowing away the lieutenant's voice. Faintly, you hear. Never mind. Find a way to let me in when you get inside. Ah, don't go adventuring with a backup, especially if we think the suspect may be hiding here. Why did you say that bit quieter, like... So I can't hear it. That seemed like something you'd want me to hear. Oh well. We're here now. The central support beam has been destroyed by artillery fire. Excellent. Well. Doesn't seem to be much up here. Let's uh, fall to our deaths, I suppose. Oh, I, 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 there is something up here. Stones fall. It's a long way down. Okay, thanks for that.
Sorry, I'm trying to take a drink with the nose thing I've fashioned. Yeah, right. Okay, the suspect definitely won't hear us coming. The glass is covered with grime and dust. You can barely see out. You can see out. What's that? A postcard. Seems to have been 500 years since we found a postcard. Or anything of any value for that matter. should take out your flashlight. Don't tell me what to do. This collapse nearly sealed the basement. One can barely squeeze by. Antiquated office furniture. Last century maybe? Brought down and forgotten so long ago. Okay, so old place women. This overturned table is covered in orange mildew, crawling with something. Ugh. Old file folders in the car. Documents silvery with mould. Mouldy, mouldy, mould. A series of thick, mouldy, uh, dusty panes of glass. This isn't just glass. These are old computation components. Are they mouldy? Yes, filament memories. From the time when wires were cast in glass. Slides with an inlaid nervous system. How do they do that and why? The how was a closely guarded secret. Something that was locked in safes and human heads across the river where they were manufactured. As to why, your fingers don't know. Damn it, fingers. What, what do I pay you for? Ooh. Inter-Isulary suit jacket, plus one suggestion. Yes, because we've really been relying on suggestion throughout all of this. Aha, there you are, Kim. What are you doing out there? Two rusty metal plates that slide apart form a crude door. It's been here under the boardwalk for a while. Who's there? What do you mean, who's there? It's me, Kim. Stop playing around and help me get this door open. No. Officer, are you okay in there? No, I'm, I'm having a rebellious teenage streak. Actually, Kim, it occurs to me that I will probably die if I don't have you around. Two rusty metal pl The doors seem to be on rails, but they've gotten jammed. You grab a side and put some strength into prying it open. With the help of your partner, the two metal panels slide open with a creak. Huh. I hope no one dangerous heard that. I'm sure they didn't hear that, not over the sound of my boombox. How did you even get there? After you climbed up to the roof, you mean? There's a maintenance entrance under the boardwalk. It's next to a drain pipe, possibly a storm drain. It was easy to miss before. Well, well I found that, but it didn't let me interact with it. It said there was a sewer. Maintenance entrance? So pedestrian. At least now we know a quick way in and out. Could have saved me the effort. At least now we have an exit, so let's get going. It's time to investigate these passages. Okay, thanks for that weird fade in and out. I don't quite know what that was in aid of. Kim has rejoined the party. I guess that's all it was. Oh, Kim, you appear to be in my crotch. Uh, do you might do you want to move? I can't. I can't move at the. All right, just just stay there then. I guess. I don't like that jacket. A faded picture postcard from the end of the last century shows Martinez as it was before the revolution. It's the height of the summer. Rue de Sanchez Lane is teeming with parasol wielding bourgeoisie, and wild pines flags buttress the walkway. Nothing is written on the back. So who gives a fuck? Huh. 
Ah, I knew there was a thing here. Stale fabric smell and dust. No one slept here in months, maybe years. Revolutionary's hat. Plus one to communism. We've got a communist hat. Hmm. I mean... Do we need any more points in communism? We've got 17 in communism. I think we're probably alright then. And we could do with the logic that this gives us. Probably. Still, nice to have. Revolutionary propaganda on the bunk bed. Ancient flyers and brochures. Ancient, you say? These pots and plates are full of dust and spider webs. A mustachioed and mutton chopped man, amateurishly depicted, gazes at you with sad eyes. A plaque reads K. Mazov. There is a spider web in the lower left corner of the portrait. Brush the dust off the portrait. Years worth of dust is shaken off. The full head of hair, matched by an ample mustache and sideburns, look a bit silly. Someone crouches, heels digging into wet sand. Hands sweep across the sand, grains stick into the frayed skin of the fingertips. An old man sits on a slab of concrete and taps his fingers against the glass of a scope. You shudder. Huh. Look, Kim, it's Comrade Mazov. Yes, I can see that. Looks like some communists were hiding out here. They left a long time ago. The lieutenant does not seem to share your enthusiasm. A long time ago? How long? What's with all these secret weapons, caches, and secret bunkers? Maybe I should move in here. Seems cosy. Could be connected to the Mazov bus we found in the students' room. Could someone have stopped through here recently? Sure, I'll, I'll go over here rather than the shack. I won't stand in your way, but only after we're through with this case. Oh, it's not as fun, then. Uh, what's with all these secret bunkers? We have found a lot of those lately. I guess what most people think of as history tends to linger in rundown neighborhoods. Martinez being what it is, no one has gone through the trouble of cleaning out the old bunkers. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, Falavel again. <laughs> good hiding place for someone who's up to no good. Yeah, supposedly. Right. Taking that shit out of my nose and gonna try and speak properly. <sighs> Could it be connected to the Mazov bust we found in the students' room? Millions of depictions of Mazov have been produced. They're not all connected. Besides, that looked like some student. The youths always go for this kind of stuff. Do they? Hmm. Maybe they just want you to think it's not all connected. How long ago are we talking? Half a century. This was probably part of the network of defense posts the communards built against the amphibious landing. Ah, the invasion of frogs, yes. I think the purpose of this bunker was to produce propaganda. It would have had radio equipment back then, but that's all been looted. Was someone here recently? You mean like Ruby? No, I think we've stumbled on a piece of history. He looks at the dust. Okay, cool. There's also this. The same slit window you saw from the outside. Oh! Okay, so it wasn't a sewer I was looking into here. Hmm. Surprising that no one else found it all this time. Could this have been the killer's hideout? And this narrow window, the point of origin of the shot that killed the mercenary? Uh, I didn't consider that, but if you tell me it is, then I will believe you. This does look like an embrasure, a slit made for shooting out of. Let's have a look then. Outside the window, the day is clear and as mild as can be in early spring. Kim, could the killer have used this as a hideout? It's a great place to hide, and Mazovianism and murder are certainly not mutually exclusive. But there hasn't been anyone here in ages. Kim, I can't see the whirling in rags. The shot didn't come from here. 
Indeed. No one could get a clear view. Well, at least we've been thorough. I like thorough. I do too. The lieutenant's voice betrays a slight disappointment, which he glosses over by reasserting control. Hmm. In fact, I think we're done with this bunker. After you, officer. Only tab on the keyboard will tell me if we're done with this bunker. Which, yes, we are. Okay, fine. Where's the door? Cool. There's something in the air, an unnatural buzzing. Shit. Asian murder hornets. The tunnel collapsed. You'll have to find another way around. Through the murder hornets. Hmm. It's getting louder, the buzzing sound. Oh no. I'm gonna heal up and say I've got a bad feeling. And we don't have any skill points to use. Okay. Kim, get ready to swap hornets. There it is again. Like a swarm of hornets. Exactly what I said. Under your yeah. scalp. A strange tingling you can almost smell. Kim, do you feel something like hornets? No. What do you mean? Hornets. Wait, why is Hornets not an option? <laughs> Clearly the most terrifying thing in this situation would be a swarm of Hornets. A pain, a strange tingling, a ghost. Nothing, it's just my mind playing tricks. A Hornet pain. I don't feel it, but... We should still be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. Hold on, you really don't feel anything? No, but you are the sensitive one. Fuck you. I mean, oh, no, you didn't mean it like that. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. A concrete pipe buried in sand and dust. But someone left their jacket there. Polar anorak. That's quite good, actually. No downsides. Composure and shivers. Ooh, how fluffy. That looks quite cosy. But unfortunately, it uh, rather takes away from our lack of pants or trousers. So we'll stick with how we want, I think. This is our look now, I think. Unless there's a composure check coming up, in which case I'll try and do something. Oh, money. Good. I mean, been a while since we found any money or tear or anything worth money. Oh. Suddenly, your entire body is paralyzed. Aggressive white noise fills your skull. A strange pain like you've never felt before. Through the static, you hear a woman's voice. I know you're feeling pretty uncomfortable right now. Don't move too much or fight it. That'll just make it worse. Says the shadowy figure by the machine, who is Ruby. Can't say it's a pleasure, officer. I was really hoping not to make your acquaintance. But here we are. Why have you got some kind of watercolor LSD white noise thing? As she says the word, officer, you feel a spike in the agony. It sounds like the entire radio frequency range is screaming directly into your neural pathways. Hmm. Cover your ears or don't cover them? I mean, you'd think you should cover your ears, but maybe... I don't know. Yeah, don't overthink it. No, buddy. That's not going to help. Fuck. You can't shield yourself from this. It's an entirely new type of experience. Way worse than all the previous ones. Really? Because there's been some pretty bad ones. Take out all the good parts of Corolino, leave all the bad parts, and make a brain bomb in a constant state of exploding. That's this. Oh, that sounds fun. Don't focus on the pain. Focus on doing your job. Tell her she's under arrest. I can't work under these conditions. 
I can heal though, which is helpful. Because if it's going to keep just whacking my health away like that, then this could be an issue. What's happening to me? Are you going to kill me too? Help Kim, help my brain's on fire. <clears throat> the lieutenant clutches his head as his eyes roll back into his skull. Shit. The torment the Lieutenant Kitsuragi is experiencing is worse than your own. He's trying to resist, but there's no way of knowing when you will recover. Oh, fuck. I'm using a pale latitude compressor. You and your partner have been caught in its field. Well, can you know? The explosion of static you're hearing. It's the ULAN frequency. God, I thought Radio 1 was bad. Blasted from that pale emitter that Angus mentioned. I saw your equations. It's the Ulan frequency. Fat Angus said you had a pale emitter. You're using one of those devices used to send signals through the pale on me. Say nothing. Try to cover your ears. No, apparently that doesn't work. I, I've read your maths. Saw my equations? You've been sniffing through my lorry, right? I expected as much. I am a bit surprised you knew what you were looking at. I didn't at the time. Okay, uh, Kim, you are right? Right behind you, officer. He's still alive and breathing. Okay. A pale latitude compressor is used to sort of make the pale more manageable. With a lot of doesn't seem like it's working then. Force a radio signal grid on the pale. Literally crunch the distance across it. So the, so we're experiencing the pale right now. That's pretty bad. Also, it's not pale. Seems to be Signals are relayed colorful. across a series of repeater stations fixed to buoys. Not a fun job manning those stations. Uh, All alone buoys? out there in the pale. It's usually just people lose buoys. their minds in just a few years. Anyway, people lose their mind in just a few years. Yeah, well, I'm. Gonna, my head's gonna explode so, in a matter of minutes, I think. The concentration of radio waves. He gestures towards something with great effort. Precisely. This is an industrial strength paraboloid. It's meant for forcing dimensions on something that doesn't have them. Needless to say, what the frequencies mean? used are out of this world. So you could, like, use it on a 2D picture and it would become 3D? Is that what you mean? I feel like that's not what you meant, but I'm a simple man. At the upper limit is the large prime number generator station. It's used specifically for pale latitude compression. That's why you may be hearing some numbers. But you might also hear, or think you're hearing, local radio chatter. Okay, can you do the TLDR on this? It's uh... She's been holed up in here for a while with no one to talk to. Keep her talking. And you just might get an opportunity to break the loose. Really? Is that the tactic here, suggestion? To just stay in this state of extreme pain? Um, this is all great, but let's talk about the man who was killed. Please turn it off, I can't take any more. Don't wax on that one. Have you experienced the compressor yourself? Will I stay like this forever? How did you get your hands on this thing? I built it myself. She nods toward her torture device. And she's proud of it too. As she ought to be. This is way beyond your abilities. Yeah, well, my abilities include drinking and shooting and... No, that's it. That's illegal. I'm guessing it's patented. But we are beyond that, aren't we? Yeah, probably not the time to bring up copyright law. Oh yeah, way beyond. She studies her death ray and the law officials trapped in it. Oh yes, thank you Marilyn Bell. Doing speed. I knew I was forgetting something. Drinking, shooting and doing speed. Sometimes simultaneously. Uh, will I stay like this forever? No. Once I shut down the compressor, the pain will end. It oh, and teleportation. My newest one, yes. Yourself. It's a bit like waking out of a very well, confusing well dream. Well noted. It's a bit like waking out of a very confusing dream. That doesn't sound as bad as this looks. Oh, 
sounds alright. Oh, no, go back, go back to the other one. Go back to that one. Yeah, that's alright. I'll leave it on this end for a while. I said leave it on this. No, no it's got to go to the shipping for the past there. Okay, um, <laughs> have you used this on yourself? Because it's fun. Yeah, I stuck my head in there before using it on you. It seemed like the ethical thing to do. Can't say that I enjoyed it. The field was weaker, but I can imagine what you're going through. You can't possibly imagine what I'm going through, because I don't know what I'm going through. This is all great, but let's talk about the man who was killed. Yeah, let's not talk about that shit. You were hunting me, and fell into my trap instead. That's all there is to say about it. I'm sure there's more to say about it than that. Give so me a second. So she thinks of you as hunters, not cops. And of herself, merely as prey. You're right, Falavel. It is pretty disco. At least, you know, you can say that. It's sort of disco death, I suppose. Can you just turn it down, down a bit? I want to ask you something. If you've got something really important to say, you can do it through the white noise. No, that's not how that works. We're looking for a deal on mattress. <laughs> Kim, that was your favourite. Exception. Oh. This one's alright then. No, oh, it's gone again. Nothing more annoying than someone who won't fucking leave it on the same song. Oh yeah, sorry Kim, you're about to have a fucking aneurysm. God damn it. She regards you and Kim with sudden sympathy. Fine. If you really want to talk, I can dial it down. I've also got a gun, by the way. Me too. How many bullets have you got? I've got two now. One of them is yours, I think. She steps reluctantly out of the shadows, the pain lessens. Well, it doesn't feel much better, but she can form sentences now. Thinking doesn't seem to hurt as much. Yeah. Just keep her feeling. talking, and you'll get through this. How did you know we were coming? Did you shoot Lily? Uh, destroy the machine? Wow. A high chance of that. I can't take it anymore, just go. Don't attempt to destroy the compressor. I mean, you get... Okay, well, let's... Mm -hmm. Can I ask these and then do that? How did you know we were coming? I heard you in the passages, and I've been preparing for quite a while. How did you possibly hear us in the passages? We were so quiet. Uh, by hiding bullets under floorboards? So, you found my shack, huh? I'm not surprised. I was given your shack, actually, um, by the old lady. She didn't rat you out, by the way, Isabel, the washerwoman. Why hide the bullet, though? This could have turned out pretty bad for me if you hadn't walked right into 25 bands of ultra-high frequencies. Okay, touche. That's her admitting the bullet was an emergency exit. Right. It was dark in the shed. The waves outside had calmed down. She looked at the loaded gun. Then she cracked the barrel open and took the bullet out. Not today. Oh, fun. So she's potentially suicidal. Suicidal! Cool. Oh, did you shoot Lely? No, I didn't do it. I only helped stage the lynching. Though I doubt that makes much of a difference to you. Um, no, that makes an important difference. Uh, you, you know, did you murder him or not? No. Okay, there's a big difference between that and yes. Who ratted me out, by the way? Was it Titus? No, he wouldn't have broken first. 
No, he didn't break at all for fucking ages. It was a goddamn war of attrition. Uh, you're right, Classier was the first, so to share her suspicions. It was your girlfriend she cracked. Nah, she didn't crack. She's a survivor. If she told you anything, it was to save herself. Well, well she still told us, so... Yeah. But she couldn't have known I was on the coast. How did you find me? The wind told me. Uh, your first guess wasn't entirely off. Your own boys told us you were on the coast. Titus told me. It took me some convincing. It did. Oh, fuck. We died several times. Took some convincing times. my ass. Those guys liked me, I know it. This is what happens to people who people like. A dull despair is creeping into her voice. Yeah, well, a very loud despair is creeping into my ears. How the fuck do the rest of you get by? What, well, usually without this going on in my ears? Wasn't it you who called me the human can opener? It's not personal, I opened them up. I do it by asking questions, and I have some for you. Honestly, I don't know how I do it. I just stumbled in here. Can you please explain this shit to me? Yeah, you called me a human can opener. I did, didn't I? Now you've come for me. Fuck them all the same. Okay, I thought that might be a progress point. What's going on? What shit? I told you I didn't do it. Sounds pretty simple to me. Sure, so can you turn the thing off and we'll not, you know, we'll talk? A strong moral compass. She still wants the opportunity to make a case for herself. Hmm, alright. Do you like to hang out on rooftops? Who doesn't? Oh, you probably mean Claudia's rooftop. Sure, I've hung out there. She's got this great antenna. Is that a euphemism or... Is that the only reason you hung out on the roof? What's so great about her antenna? So you're sure you didn't shoot the moat from the roof? Yeah, what's... what? Hmm? It's very powerful. I used it to tune into RCM frequencies. That's how I need to be prepared for your arrival. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That explains a lot. Is that the only reason you hung out on the roof? The view's pretty bomb, too. But you might say the antenna was the main attraction there, yeah. Along with Faja. And you definitely didn't murder him? Yes, I'm sure. In fact, the shot couldn't have possibly come from the roof. Otherwise, we would have heard it downstairs. Yeah, that's what Titus said, but he was more... He was... I don't know. Hmm. No one mentioned hearing any shots. And the right. Oh, apparently no one mentioned hearing any shots. Why did I think Titus mentioned hearing a shot then? I don't think the shot came from the roof. Oh. Could I? Yeah, no. I was going to say, it's... My mental power today is as if this machine were actually going off in my head in real life. But unfortunately I don't have such a useful... Uh, excuse. Would you say that Lely was a likeable person? Did he have any enemies? I didn't like him. Hardened mercenaries aren't particularly likeable types. You don't feel sympathy for mercs? It's hard work. Do you feel protective of the Union? Sure. Yeah, sure. And I didn't like wild pines sending in those foreign hirelings. Me and a fuck ton of other people around here. Mm. But, I uh, sympathy? Plenty of broken people who don't come with that kind of body count. Besides, they're paid well for what they do. That's true. You can be privately broken without breaking other people. I'm listening. Um, do you have an alibi? Man, I was with the boys the whole night. I hope they at least bothered to impress that upon me. They did say you left to take a really long leak for 15 minutes. Your bladder must have been bursting. There were 10 minutes they couldn't account for. There was half an hour missing. You went out. 
shit, was I supposed to remember how long this was? Um, feck. 15 minutes? Yeah, and I'm sure they also made some funny remarks about it. They always do. I've driven a lot of long haul and chugged a lot of beer now. What, and you never pissed before, so it just... It, that was the night, I guess. Can't do either without some power of mind over bladder. And anyway, that wouldn't have been enough time. Fifteen minutes is not long enough to... Be oh, for the murder, sorry. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, that's actually an option. <laughs> oh, I dislike how often I play a stupid character in games and then am that character. It's never intentional, but it's happened twice now. <sighs> Look, fuck you, man. I might also have stopped by the bar. Oh, you stopped by the bar now. Our investigation, wins from the pain, has shown that 15 minutes was just enough time to commit the murder. Wow. Now I'm curious. Please, explain. A long time ago, there was a pinball machine. Uh, there's a secret way from the first floor of the whirling to the roof. Pinball? No. Not since I was 14 and hanging out in the only diner in Dardun. Haven't been into low-risk, no-reward games since moving to the city. This is a really long conversation to have with, you know, a, a brain explosion on the way. Why? There are some mysterious pinball machines and some pretty mysterious rooms in the whirling. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and probably some ghosts from the time of the suzerain. I'm not really interested in supernatural mysteries. It's a shame because I happen to be a paranatural detective. What about elevators? Do you like elevators? Okay, never mind mysteries. There's a secret way from the whirling bar to the roof. What kind of mysteries interest you then? Not murder mysteries either, if that's what you're thinking. Oh. She looks you in the eye, impassively, making it clear that she's not planning to comment on the matter any further. Maybe you like the whole cryptozoology thing. I know a guy and a girl. They're pretty into it. You could talk to them. Uh, what about elevators? What the fuck do elevators have to do with anything? Do you or do you not like elevators? Not particularly. Not even grab your head. Quaint old rickety ones. I think we may have gone a little off topic. Why not? Why are you so hung up on elevators? I'm hung up on everything. I hung up on the phone and hung up on elevators apparently. That's a pretty good question actually. She clearly doesn't know anything. It's old and rickety. I'm not really into old shit for old shit's sake. God damn it! Oh shit, yeah, sorry, I keep forgetting about you, Kim. Um, there's a secret way from the ground floor of the whirling to the roof. Don't know it, but also... She frowns, studying your face. Evaluating your competence as a police officer. Well, evidently that's not going to be very high with her current situation. The shot couldn't have come from the roof. Or we would have all heard it downstairs. So you keep saying, and yet... She has a point there. No one mentioned. The pain stops him from finishing the sentence. That didn't go super well. You've got to lay something better on her. Um... Did you leave any flowers for Classy on the roof? I really don't know how this is going to help, but it's one of the options. No. Gifts of flowers and candy aren't really my style. These weren't just flowers, they're symbols of revolution pushed through the pain. The Colossier was mourning. Yeah, revolution flowers. So now I'm leaving revolutionary symbols around? Come on. Okay, revolutionary bereavement symbols. I never did understand why, when someone dies, a hothouse's worth of flowers has to die too. Shit, this isn't adding up. No, I did not. Uh, you have a gun, I have a gun. Maybe we have more in common than you think. And? Where did you get it? The gun store. Cool. Wait, what gun store? Trigger Happy Jacks. That doesn't sound like the name of a real store. What did you think? 
that I'm going to squeal in my gun supplier? Sorry, I'm not that kind of gal. Hmm. I can't quite tell. What kind of gun is it? A Nachtway 80 front loader. Two barrels. Not really what you were looking for, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know. We were looking for some kind of rifle. That is... Not a rifle? Maybe a shotgun? I don't know what that is. Two barrels. That isn't it. Okay, thanks, Kim. Do you collect guns? Maybe old rifles? No, they're not practical. Break too often. It's true. We got a broken one in our pocket somehow. Uh, there's other evidence. Yeah, evidence. I'm amazed how long this has been going on. Is that worth bringing up? I d d feel like it's just going to stress her out more. Fine. We know about the drugs. So... Heart of Gold Tommy fucked me over too. Never trust a musician. Yeah, I made him talk, lie. No he didn't, I found my own way in. Okay, great. You got into my lorry on your own. What now? You're going to arrest me for drug trafficking? Probably not right now because I'm bleeding out of my ears, but you know. I'm just making you aware. You're a criminal, I can't trust anything you say. You had a financial incentive to kill the murder. No. Gifts of flowers and candy aren't really my style. That's the wrong line, Lu uh, Luby? Ruby? No, your name's definitely not Luby. That would be an incredibly unfortunate name to have. Okay, we're both getting the wrong lines, but so I'll overlook it. Man, it's to get away from all that murderous shit that I left Jamrock, my previous employer, for the union. Yeah, good. Okay, that didn't sound good, Kim. She deliberately avoided the name of the mob she worked for. You might be able to find this out later. If we're alive later. I got lucky being a dispatcher. Never had to do any of the really dirty work myself. This gun has only been used for self-defense against serious scum. She turns the knob down just a millimeter. Then, it's going to be easier to reach the machine. I wish I could use my gun right now, but you're threatening us with it. Based on what I've heard about you, you are serious scum. That's not very nice. I haven't been scummy to anyone, I don't think. I mean, I... Well, I did try to punch a kid, but... You didn't know about that. There's a sinister note in her voice. Even with the gun and the compressor, she's afraid of you. Okay, let's take a step back. Yeah? Where? I don't know. Well, I'm actually facing the other way, so if I take a step back, I'm moving closer towards you. More. More questions before doing anything. Really? I could just try this. It's still a 97% chance. If you didn't kill him, why hide? Who killed the Merc if it wasn't you? How should I know? As I keep saying, he already had a bullet in his head when I got to him, and there hasn't been any useful gossip over the radio. What is radio? You've been following the case? Yeah, she already said that, Kim. There's the antenna on the roof thing. Who hasn't? You know, I can still see him there, in Claus's room, lying on his side. He was still warm, but the bluish light coming through the broken window made him look as though he'd been dead for a good long while. Hmm. Maybe invest in different colored lights. What happened Sunday night? Tell me your version. She eyes you warily, as though gauging your sincerity. It's okay. We just want to... Uh, uh. He struggles to finish the sentence. All right, don't kill yourself over it. I was We're not killing ourselves, you're killing us. ...over a few beers, like always. Then Klasia comes in, all pale and shuddering. She sits down with a drink, trying to steady her nerves. So I grab a seat next to her. Klasia said you knew something was wrong immediately. No, I really didn't. She's not that easy to read. I just assumed she'd done too much blow. It wouldn't be a first for her. But, no such luck. She was in some deep shit. She asked me to come upstairs. The merc she'd been going with was lying on the bedroom floor, dead. I knew she couldn't get the authorities involved, so yeah. You made it look like it had been hanged. Hmm. How did you manage to come up with a plan so quickly? What? No. 
Faking a lynching was her idea. But she said it was your idea. She looks shaken. She wasn't surprised that you ratted out, but framed. Her idea? Yeah, in cold blood. It really surprised me how quickly she was able to get a hold of herself once oh, we got up. Oh no. It was like she was another person. The party girl was gone. We've been hoodwinked. In some fashion that I don't fully understand yet, but I feel like I've been hoodwinked. She asked me to help her drag him into the shower so she could wind the shower head around his neck. To fake lividity. Then she dressed him while I went to get the party girl. That's bad that she'd be so calm. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether to admire her or be disturbed. Try both at the same time. Do you think she killed Lily herself? Lily, Lily, Lily? As I keep telling you cops, we didn't hear anything downstairs. No gunshot, nothing. Hmm. But even if this is true, why aren't you worried you think she might lead to... War? The thought crossed my mind. But the mercenary's death was going to have repercussions either way. Although the way things are going, I have to fuck it. I'm not responsible for these people after what they did to me. Her grip on the gun is tight. Her arms turn. Her posture solid. Martinez lost a value. Okay, thanks. Doesn't seem super relevant, but nice to see your trying physical instrument. If you didn't kill him, why hide? I saw you roll into town. I wasn't about to stick around for questioning by a goddamn La Puta Madre agent. What? So this is what she was scared to tell Titus. This cop, this cop, that strange, distant fear is getting close now. It's a fear of yourself. What do you mean, La Puta Madre agent? Yes, you. Everyone says you're his peon, his human can opener. Oh shit, I thought I was just good at my job, but I'm actually working for the Mafia? Oh, fucking hell, fuck me. <laughs> okay, there was no line for that, but it definitely sounded like fuck me was in there somewhere. Um, don't worry Kim, at this rate I'm gonna die before you do. It's especially bad, Sonny. Felt like a vein exploded. Ugh. Ah. No, I don't like that. I don't like that imagery. Don't talk about veins. No. 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 Don't like that. Who's everyone? How do you know this? Everyone in Jamrock. The cops. The criminals. Why do you think I'm holed up in here with a goddamn death ray waiting for you? I don't know. I thought that was just like you were into that. If she knows that about you, she must know your real name. I don't care about my name anymore. Tell me what's my name. If you know that about me, you must know my name. Fuck you, I'm a Laputa Madre agent. You better let me go. Laputa Madre. I've heard of Laputa Madre. He's dangerous, right? Is that a joke or a threat? I'm guessing both. Yes, of course. Are you scared yet? No, that was a real question. I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to know all about this, but I lost my memory recently. Yeah, sure. No, I... Kim. She doesn't believe. No shit. I'm sure La Buda Madre himself will explain it all to you soon enough. Oh. What did you do to him anyway, this guy? You've been to my lorry. You think the biggest player in Jamrock appreciates competition? Now I have Harry can open in my lair. Fucking Titus. She's not going to change her mind that easily. She still perceives you as a threat. Wait, one thing. Possibly small, but... She said you rolled into town. Was that you, singular, or plural? She might know something. Hmm? I'm not sure how that's relevant. Me, or the RCM in general, or me and Kim, why would it make a difference? She's distrustful of all of us. Oh, when I came into town, was there anyone with me? Yeah, you had your death squad with you. What? What happened to them anyway? I don't know what happened to them. 
sure you do. I bet they're just outside waiting. I guess I'll take my chances. Who was in this squad? Well, it wasn't this scrawny dude. Hey. You had two guys and a lady. The guys looked pretty buff. The lady wasn't bad either. What the fuck is all this then? Do they mean sunglasses man and the horse-faced woman? They didn't seem particularly buff, but they did know me. They were from my precinct. What else can you tell me? One of the guys seemed chipper, a blonde. The other had a brooding something or other about him. And the woman... The woman was the only one in uniform. All were carrying. Now that... Hmm, that does... Well, that sort of sounds like them. There was... The woman in uniform, anyway. I don't know about the others, but... Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what... Chipper or blonde... The guy was wearing a blonde wig, but... Would he... Why would he be wearing that when we just arrived? This that is confusing. That sounds about right? No, it sounds about confusing. No idea who these people are. Literally. Well, I, okay, Logic. I do actually have an idea who they are, but it's just... Not clear. Yeah, that's right. I was just testing you. They're right outside with guns. No, that doesn't ring any bells. Well, this has been a great talk, really. But I think I'm going to hit the road now. No, I still need to destroy your machine. She needs it. You better make your move soon. Do you know about the bunker next door? I'm not sure we got time. Fuck it. Here we go. Do something. All these skills into physical have to be worth something. You did it. That would do. The compressor do. lies broken on its side. It's quiet in your head again. It still hurts like hell, but... Yeah, you really do feel the silence, actually, after having that go on for quite so long. Also, I stood up amazingly fast after doing that. You're under arrest. See them fireworks, Kim? Uh, are you alive, Kim? <sighs> All good, officer. Be careful. Thank God for that. She looks at the machine, assessing the damage. Her hand trembles. <laughs> Marilyn Bell says, my ears are actually buzzing. Yeah, it's it's weird like that. It's, uh, it's uh, I mean, I've actually got tinnitus, so it's a bit hard for me to tell, but you definitely notice it when there's a constant noise and then it drops out. Oh, fuck it. Oh, okay, speaking of constant noise... Wait, no, that doesn't segue at all. Never mind. Um, oh, shit. A rhetoric thing. Rhetoric has failed us time and time again. Uh, what are you doing? I mean, I kind of... I, I can guess what she's doing. I should have had some cigarettes. Oh, no. <laughs> Has there been a skill we have failed at more than rhetoric? Maybe authority. Um, no, even that's had its moments. I even put a point into rhetoric. I'm very sorry, Ruby. I did try, but it it looks very likely that you're about to die. You should know the words to say. You oh, feel for yourself. <laughs> so why is it not coming to you? Because none of the words are coming to me today. Why am I standing here like an idiot? Because you've misread the situation from the beginning. And now her finger squeezes the trigger. <laughs> Is that a lighter emoji in the chat there? Oh, yeah. F's in chat for Ruby. Come on, one idea. I need one idea. A smirk crosses her face. Oh! As she watches you stand there, mute. Then she exhales sharply, shakes her head, and pulls the trigger. Her own portrait kind of censored that. That was quite um, apt positioning. You watch as her brains trickle out through her neon hair. 
hang on, I thought she had red hair, not near. It's probably not the most important thing right now. Um, oh God, what did we just do? Yes, we <laughs> try and get Kim in on this as well. She killed herself. I failed to talk her down. It's our fault. I keep saying our fault. Uh, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, okay, compose yourself. What do we do now? Um. Yeah, I, 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 I failed there. Red can be neon too. Yeah, actually, yeah, I suppose it can. Yeah. Didn't didn't consider that. I'm all shaken. Um. <laughs> Yes, Samaritans will not be accepting my job application. Lieutenant Yefreitor Dubois, control your emotions. We did our job. This won't be the worst thing that happens on this case, believe me. You can't let this break you. Kim, with the best will in the world, that doesn't fucking help. When, <laughs> when we've got someone who's just shot themselves in front of us and you say, hey, don't worry, it's going to get worse... That doesn't really soothe the uh, panic. There is no coming back from this one. It will stay with you in nightmares. Also not helping. It's our fault. We are cops. Everything is our fault, if we let it be. That's quite poignant. Um, what did we just do? Our job. It went really bad. And now we need to clean it up. Oh, do we actually have to clean it up, or do, or do you mean metaphorically? Oh, God. Fuck. The lieutenant stands motionless, watching the blood pool in the sand. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, you said it. You needed to say it. Now it's been said. We need to clean up. You're going to need an ocean of booze to drown this out. You're right, electrochemistry. That's clearly the answer. No, I'm done. I'm not a cop anymore. End it. Can, can we actually end it? What does end it mean? Does end it mean do the same? Oh. Oh, it, oh, it just means quit. Police officer I thought responsible I was going to do it as well then. Suicide of suspect renounces the RCM today. Officer Harrier Dubois, formerly a lieutenant of the Citizens Militia of Rivershaw, gives a candid interview in which he renounces the militia, his years of service, most of which he doesn't remember, and his own actions on the force. I'm no longer a cop. I wish I never was. No one should be, says Dubois, who has fallen on hard times after resigning. Fuck the RCM. Fuck duty. He adds. Continues on page four. Oh, can we not read more on page four? No. Mm. Well. <laughs> I'll leave it there and um, I'll, I'll get back to that point when we restart next time. Um, well... <laughs> There's, there's a <laughs> tally that up to another game over. We might be getting, that might be our one achievement in this playthrough is that we're totting up quite a few game overs, quite a few different ones. So, <laughs> oh dear, we've we've died in multiple different ways. We've lost the will to live. We've um, gone to live in a dumpster, and we've now resigned and renounced. Uh, the police entirely cool kind of understandably um. <laughs> well um, God, what's the moral message for that one um. oof I don't know, saying something is better than saying nothing if someone's got a gun in their mouth. Is that maybe a moral message? You know what? No, don't take that as the moral message. Because <laughs> I don't fucking know. So next time, 
you will actually start the game from the beginning. Hell no, no, not from the beginning. I'm just going to go back to uh, the last save before that happened. And then the next stream, I'll start from... Uh, I don't know, actually, because that was, that was mid-dialogue, so we may have to do some of that again, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll work it out at the time. Yes, Falavel. That is the moral lesson for this one. Get better at rhetoric. That's a perfect moral lesson, yeah. Don't don't neglect your rhetoric because you never know when you might need to talk someone down from suicide. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much to Falavel and Mira Lynn Bell for hanging out in the chat and frankly picking up the slack from my melting brain um cheers for watching anyone else and maybe see you again